I feel like you guys are going to have seen me in this shirt for like three straight videos because today's kind of been a grind day. Three videos in a row. Whew, let's do one more. Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the i3-530, Intel's very first i3 processor. How does it perform in 2017? Well, let's talk about that. The i3-530 is a dual core processor with two extra threads, making it two cores, two threads. It was released in 2010 at an MSRP of $117. You can now pick up this CPU on eBay for roughly $10 US. It is based on the 32 nanometer architecture under the code name Clarkdale. This CPU comes with an out of the box frequency of 2.93 GHz without any turbo boost available on this model. I was not able to overclock this CPU at all with the standard Intel motherboard that I have, so keep that in mind during the benchmarks. Today we're going to be testing this CPU in the same test bench as the i5-750 that we tested a few weeks back. If you want to check that video out, hit the i in the top right corner to check it out. The most important parts of this test bench is the EVGA 660Ti superclocked and 4GB of DDR3 RAM. This represents a best case scenario of a build that you might put together using used hardware like this or maybe fine lying around your house. So how about we not waste any more time and put the CPU to the test. Let's get right into those benchmarks. So after all the benchmarks are done, it is very clear to say that this CPU does show its age. A lot. While it may be tempting for 10 bucks to get this CPU, I would highly not recommend it for an ultra budget gaming PC. This CPU is past its prime and really doesn't make sense purchasing even at such a low price point. If you still happen to have an older pre-built PC lying around with this CPU in it, I think you could probably put something together for basic computer tasks and maybe some lower end 720p gaming if you throw in some cheap SSD and maybe make it a little bit more snappy than the normal experience on some crappy old hard drive. But nonetheless, it was actually really cool to check out this i3 and to see how far we've come from the very first Intel i3 all the way up to today. And if you have any recommendations of other CPUs to test out, either on this socket type or any other brand, either AMD or Intel, comment them down below. I have a few more ideas in my head, but I would love to hear your all's opinions. That about wraps things up here, guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and subscribe for more content from the Toasty Bros. And also join our Discord community where you can talk to people who like tech just like you. Hope to see you all in the next one, guys. Peace out.